This is my daughter Cassidy. She doesn't want me to shoot her face. Um, <laughs> she's gonna make guacamole for tonight's chicken tacos that we're gonna show you how to make. So she takes a whole avocado, shut up, and scoops out the inside. Ollie, we're filming here. God, I gotta pick up my dog. Hold that thought, people. Come here. You spoiled witch. Don't pee on me. Okay. For some reason, she thinks she's missing something, so. <laughs> All right, so we just take a whole avocado, we save the pit, <clears throat> and we just smash it up. You know, you can use a masher if you have a masher or a there or whatever you have available to just smash that up. It doesn't have to be like pureed. If you leave a little bit of um, texture in there, that's always good. You forgot to get lemon. Give if you can get a lemon over there and cut it. Well, while she's doing that, I'll tell you what you need. You need a whole avocado, you need a lemon quarter, um, and then you need some sour cream, salt and, and garlic powder, and that's it. So that's a whole avocado. It's a medium sized avocado, not super big. And she's gonna add, prob I wanna say that's gonna be like a third of a cup um, of sour cream that she'll add. A little tiny bit more. A third of a cup, a fourth of a cup. She makes it most of the time, so I actually don't know exactly how much she puts in, but you can see that. Two to three tablespoons. Two, oh, okay, two to three tablespoons. <laughs> she just mixes that in, and then she's gonna add garlic powder, salt, and the lemon to taste. And you know, you can always add chili powders, or you can add, uh, I'm sorry, chili um, pods in there or you can add tomato, even. tomato and sliced jalapeno or diced jalapeno and onion we just like ours naked without all the extra stuff don't go overboard on the garlic mm -hmm. she likes to go overboard on the garlic sometimes and we don't even need to add chili to it so squeeze the lemon in that's probably how much lemon is that going to be maybe like a teaspoon of lemon juice huh yeah Huh? Yes. The lemon helps keep it from turning brown. Um, it just brightens the flavor of it. And the actual tip that we're going to show you is that we take the avocado pit. This is three minutes already. You know that? She's slow. <laughs> you put it in the bowl with the guacamole cover up the pit. Three minute guacamole. <laughs> Bounce for cover the pit up and taste it and make sure it tastes good. And that keeps it from turning brown for the most part. If you put it away the top of it will turn a little discolored and you'll have to scrape the top off. We don't have any leftover that's why we use a small avocado just for three or four people. Okay, there's your three-minute guacamole. <laughs> <laughs>